Hi all. Well, I spruced up my garden area with a few ideas from you guys. Uh, it was suggested that I put lights behind my name, which I have done. And as you can see from behind, there's coloured lights and non-coloured lights um, just to make everything have a bit of pizzazz. So as long as you don't look behind it, it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, I also thought about doing a hanging plant area. So I made this little hanging plant thing here, which I think is lovely. And I put a few more plants along the side here and some lights, uh, as well as my little pyramid over here, just to, to spruce up my area to make myself feel a bit more at home. Also, somebody wanted to have a look at my power infrastructure. So this is my power screen uh, that uh, you can see in front of you now. And as you can see, I have so much power at the moment that I don't need to worry about doing power. And this all came from when I was first building the factory. Uh, let me uh, sh pop over and show you. Okay, so we're now over at the original factory here, over at, uh, what are we at, Le no, Victor. And as you can see underneath, there is a lot of water wheels going on down here. And they've all got a lot of generators on them. I haven't even upgraded these ones down here to Mark IIs. So I could do to give myself a lot more power. But as you can see, um, just as the factory grew, I needed more water wheels. I still haven't filled this one in or this one. And... You know, I didn't have the Mark II tech at the time, so this was all Mark ones. so I needed needed a lot of them. And when I upgrade them to, to Mark II, it just adds so much power with all the upgrades that you really do not have to worry about power later on in the game. Now on with the rest of the episode. Today we are carrying on with the efficiency build. I've gone back from the public test cave to the normal build for this so that I don't ruin my save with um, upgrading it to 0 0.4. Okay, so today we're going to use this big copper vein here because what we're going to do is prepare ourselves for all the advanced recipes by doing copper slabs. So this will enable us to add towards the electric frames, electric motor, fresher 2, assembler 2, stack inserter, filter, stack inserter, conveyor belt mark 2, reinforced frames, accumulators, freshers, inserters, conveyor belts, conveyor belt mark 2s, monorail depots, voltage steppers, blast drills, and fresher mark 2. So there's an awful lot of stuff that relies on doing these copper slabs. And what I've worked out is that I need um, 2.31 blast smelters to cover everything in the tech tree. Now, 2.31 is obviously going to be free, but it just means that we can run one at slightly less efficiency if we need to. To cover all of this, we're going to need 10 of these... Uh, 10 of these drills um, going in here. So let's uh, start off with these. So when I'm on this line, uh, is that going to catch anything? Mm, maybe not. Uh, yeah, it's on this line here. We're going to start it there. We want one space in between each of them because we're going to use all three outputs potentially. Three, four... Is that going to catch any? Oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not sure that's going to catch any, but we'll see. We'll see. And what we're going to need, though, is we're going to need to put a second leveling. So we need 10 of these. So... That's not right. I don't want it exactly on the top of it. So what we can potentially do here, if we put down not that one one of these in the middle here that might force it to snap on top of that now it is that's much better wonderful right now we can get rid of this side bit we can put in actually we can put in some of these let's do it a little bit different than we've done before let's put curvy bits on the corner shall we like this Although, I'm going to want to be coming down these sides. So, I may not do this yet. I'm still not sure that's going to catch 
the edge of that. Maybe. We'll see. We might have to just move some over here eventually. Right. Let's see. So this one definitely won't catch anything. So we are going to have to have a look at doing something different there anyway. So maybe we'll move a couple around the corner here. What we'll do is we'll start on this one. And, uh, well, they're one in, aren't they? Like so. You there. Now this one definitely isn't. So what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to remove these end ones. Ooh. I'm instead going to put a couple back here. Oh, that's going to be really tight if I put that there. Put one here, that'll be all right, but the top one won't be. But that's right, I can just bring this in here. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. We'll bring that one in. Which means this one needs to be in here, as far as possible. And this one needs a space in between. And you can go there. Right. And then we can do this like this. And we can put our last one above this one. So as he's one to the side and one back from there. So there. Right. That is lovely. Okay, so the next stage of this is we need to get the... We're going to need some on this side anyway. We we need to get the mining charges to here, but before we do that, we want to design everything because as soon as we start throwing mining charges in, these are going to start filling up. Um, and I don't want to waste mine charges, even though we're, we're making a... I was going to say a rude word then. A ton of um, mining charges. I think we'll bring the mining charges in the sides. So let's design this. Okay, I am back uh, with the Atlanta. As you can see in the bottom right there, we are building away. So we want to have stuff coming in here. We're probably going to need an extra row of this across here just because we're going to run out of space here otherwise. So let's bring that out first. Right, so these want to come out and do a fandangly thing, don't they? One, two, three. So we can split into three. And then into two. And then we can do a split into two and then two. That'll work. Or can we do a five split? Hang on, let's think about this. We can do this. If uh, So this is the fifth one. The, fir the awkward one. So we want to come in here. Let's bring it out to here. Here. No, 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 let's bring it out. Let's, let's start it here. So if we do a split here. And then this is going to split off and then go up to the top one. And the same with this one. Same with this one. Same with this one. And the same with this one. So what we want to do is... We just want to split this. So that's a three-way split. 
But if we split it again here, and then again here, it's not going to be right, is it? Because that's sending half of that one to both of those two. Half of this one will go to both of these two. But we've got the whole of this one going to here. So, what we can do here is we can split that in half again. by bringing this just back out. Like that, I'm feeding back in to the main group, yeah? Because that is doing the same split as this would. So only half of it is going down here and half of it comes back this way. That's brilliant. So each one of these needs... Oh, what are we gonna? What are we doing here? These need to be pumping out 5 per 12 seconds. So 25... Yeah, so, it's, so each one of these needs 25 per minute. No, hang on. It needs 15 to do that, doesn't it? 15... 150, so that needs, oh my god, that needs a lot. That needs 300 per minute. Not quite 300 because of these two, but we, we've got to be checking a lot down here. Whoa. Okay. And then, when you think about that as well, we've got to have three of these, which only need five per minute each, but... Um, yeah... Painful much. Okay, so let's bring these splits up. Um, which side should we bring them up? Let's bring them up this side. No, no, let's bring them up the inside and then we can have the room. Well, the room's going to be coming down there anyway. We can do this. So, let's do this. I'm going to go this way. Then it can be going like this. Here we go. Then this one can do the same. Okay, that's good. They're taking in now at full speed. They're all going to need stack inserters to take in. Uh, we'll make these powered in a second. Wonderful. I could make this more compact if I wanted. I'm not going to bother. I've got the room, so there's no need to make that compact. Let's get some pillars in here, just to give us a bit of power. Oh, that wasn't the right place. There we go. Can we fit? Oh, we can. Look at that. There we go. Nice! 
Right, so that's our, our, our slab room going, or our slab drills. Now to just do the smelters. If we keep it along here, so we, do, we don't want it, what we'll do is we'll use these down this side and then we'll have storage over here for the moment. Because we only need three of these. Or could we bring them down here? And we can probably fit an lantern room back. Well, the lantern room, I think, is going to go back here on the end of that one. So we can we can use a bit of room here. This is good. Um, so if we're coming up to here anyway, the wall is going to go here. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to put these down here. These can go on this line. Like so. Real. So, F6. Let's bring these out. So, are we going to bring them out the left? The right one. Let's bring them out. Out the right one. So happy that they put in the building at the same height. Oh, that one's annoying. That one isn't going to like that. Hmm. Okay, perhaps we ought to change this a bit. Let's get rid of this. What we can do is we can bring it right across to here, then go down, and then come back on ourselves, like that. And that'll allow us to also put this one out to you. Oh, maybe. Might have to do a little fudge here. Like that. There we go. So they're all going down and fitting into that. And these bottom ones can also come out now and fit on too. This one's going to have to do the wheel. This one, how are we going to get you out? Because you're not going to fit on that end of properly so you're gonna have to go like that I think maybe an extra one along <laughs> there we go So, well, this bit's going to be interesting, isn't it? Um, let's do this. Oh, did that let me place the hub adjacent? Is that going to work? Surely that's not going to work. So let's do hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let's get rid of this. How are we... Oh, okay, so that's the bit coming out. I wonder if we just change this up a minute. still make a hub here if we do that. So we do have to change this. Like this. Yeah. Each one, yeah, that's working. That is working good. Yeah, and then that keeps the hubs away from these because we, we can't build them right next to them, which is annoying. I'd like these to be able to feed straight into the hubs. Sometimes I found that doesn't work if you do it in certain configurations. Anyway, that's working well. So let's leave that. I don't like these hanging magically in the air. So we'll sort them out at some point with a framework. But for the moment, we're just building this today. We'll, we'll sort out the building later on. Right, so all of that should be feeding into these three. Which we'll want to be taking... So every 12 seconds, they want 20 in. Um, so if we do 80 per minute, that's not enough, is it? We need more than that. What I don't want is the stacking set is holding on to too many at a time. Okay, so that's good. We also need to get... Uh, oh, hang on. Need to change this. Because we need to get our mining charges in here as well. So what we're going to do, I think, is change this so it goes in here. And then these can just go like this. Which isn't perfect because it's going to be splitting there and splitting there, but it should stack up enough that that's not going to be a problem. Otherwise, we'll have to change that. Which I'm going to do anyway. Let's do this. There we go. And now it splits evenly. <laughs> we could even force it along there to bring it down here and across. But we do have to do this split, remember? Because we've currently got everything going in here. So this is our incoming for the mining charges. And we need 300 and something. These take 720. So if we stick 320 down here, 
That should work. And we can split off some down this way. But what we still want is the 320 going down here. So we're going to have to do some, some tricks. So if we've got 300 and... Okay, I'm only going to have 300 and... 310 is half. So let's split the 310 in half down there. Let's do this. Might have to move this over here. Oh, that needs to be one anyway. Oh, it's this one that we need. Oh, okay. So we might need a bit of room here. I'm going to try doing this. And then... Okay, so that's the inn. That's the inn. <sighs> right. And then this bit needs to go like so. These going this way. And that's the split there. So we need to get 300 coming down here. So 310 should be quite easy to get down here. We can come across this bridge. Look, bring them down here. We should be stacking up now. Yeah, we're stacking up here. Look. But we don't have any more outputs here. We need another couple of outputs. Let's get rid of this. A minute. And potentially that one. And I think what we'll do is we'll put one over here with an input coming in this side. So those are both still stacking up in there, which is fine. Let's change this. Let's make... So where's that going? That's going onto that one here. And this one is... going there. So let's go like this. Then in there we can shove a a twenty doing all that. And then this becomes this, which is putting 720 in here per minute, which is fine because we're filling up with more than that at the moment, hopefully. And then that's throwing back out to keep that number up. This isn't getting uh, into a massive bus out here at all. And then what we can have here probably bring it out here actually is we'll bring out this and what we're doing 
is bring it this way. Like that. And that can be putting back in, okay? But then, this is going to be our split. Um, he says. Like this, look. See? Absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Any of you that say so are definitely wrong. Let's try that again. You need it to come up above there, so like this down and along. Now, this should go over our bridge, yeah. And what we'll do is we'll split it this way. And down. Down deep. And across this way. And then it'll go through. Yeah, so that'll be down the corridor. That's fine. And then that'll come in there. Okay, so that should be bringing us our 310... No, 360, sorry. 360 per minute will be coming down here. And we want to break off. So these will be taking 5, 10, 15 per minute. So we want to break off 20 per minute. Be fine, I guess. 20 per minute, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 20. Just getting 15 per minute is going to be huh, easy. Because... <laughs> You know what we can do, just do? We can go... Like right, this. And this will take... This will take our required amount per minute. Put half of it into there. And half of it into there. So we get the 15 per minute we were hoping for, except this is now the wrong way. Oh. Oh. I'm going to put it on that one. And if we configure that to have them, and we put this this way, Everything should, he says, not, not putting in. Hmm. Should work. And let's just put these into a box and see if it is all running as we expect it. Oh, we haven't put... Uh, our takey outies. No wonder we're not getting anything over to our smelters. Okay, so that's only getting two. Three. That's not enough. That should be getting ten. This is not chucking out enough. Perhaps we'll have to let it run at full speed, because the simulation must be running slow. I'm going to let that run at full speed. Uh, which 
which means we don't need this bit. Okay, let's see how that has changed things. Let's see if we're getting a few more over there. The problem you can see is that although this belt can take 720 per minute, there are gaps in between when the swing arm of the inserter goes back. So although it's meant to be doing 720 per minute, I don't think it's doing 720 per minute, even when running at full speed. I'm going to have to test this. But at full speed, it's almost like it's running at half speed, if you know what I mean, because there's a gap in between. I will be doing some testing on this in my next episode. That'll be my next episode, no doubt. But let's see if we're getting enough coming down now. So what's, what's going on here? So we're getting four. Well, it's not five every 12 seconds. It's close. It needs to be five. Three, four, five. Yeah, we're getting six. So that's going to be plenty. Seven. Okay, so we're going to have to waste a few. Which is unfortunate. But we're now running at full speed, or we should be. So there should be more copper coming down for these now. So these should be filling up what we want is for these to fill up really quick. Yeah, they're not filling up full. Should be filling up to 20. Just doing 10 isn't enough. You know what? I think I've miscalculated. These need 15. Every... Oh my god, these need 15 every 12 seconds. So these actually need 75. My gosh, yeah. So this is running at half speed at the moment. Whoa. That's a lot of mining charges that it needs. I do really like this setup though, and I like the, the vertical belts, I love them. Um, you know, this is filling up really quick at the moment, but it's still not quite as quick as we need them to produce. Which is why these are only getting to 10, because they're running at half speed, you yeah? We need to get more mining charges into these. Twice as many mining charges we need. I'm going to give it a quick try. Let's see if we can chuck more out. It's, this may mean that we're not actually producing enough mining charges now. So we might need another mining charge room going on as well. So how can we do this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck everything down one belt. So... I'm going to have to get rid of this. I'm going to have to get more out here somehow. Where are you going? You're going over there. So we need 30 coming out this way. And going up here. So... So I'm not to leave it. Oh. So. Now I'm going to take it out of this side. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help! <laughs> Here we go. Right. 
So if we chuck them out of this side, they can join on over here. Like so. And this needs to be mining charges. Okay. But we need to chuck more mining charges out. onto this belt. Which can be... accomplished. Oh my gosh. Like this. Okay, so that should be filling this up nicely, and what we can do here is we can do something, says. I want that. I want it going that way. I want that to be one, but that not to be going that way. Can oh, that can be one. There we go. And then. Six. Oh my gosh, we're there. This is really awkward. <laughs> but I think we're there. Okay, and then I want a second lot dumping onto here which is this row up here. So I can just bring it straight out here. Like that. There we go. We're working, but we're definitely not going to be producing enough. Mining charges anymore, are we? This must be counting down. 454, 454. Yeah, it's going down slowly, but it is going down. Um... We can fix that slightly, temporarily, because this box is full of mining charges, so we can fill up some holes here. But this back corridor has got a little complicated now. Woo! Okay, so let's go and see how that has affected. Now that we've got this row fully full, so we've got 720 per minute coming down here now. Let's go and see how that has affected our room. I am encumbered. I have stuff on me. I have to get rid of that in a bit. Right. Let's see. How much are you getting? Nine. Ten. That's still only going to produce... It's producing four, which is better. But if each of those needs 75, you can see where we're failing here. We are, are not going to have, so 75 times five. What's that? Oh, maths. Uh, so 75 times 10 is 750. So it's what, 375. So this still isn't slight, it's slightly too little. 
We might have to get some more mining charges over here, but this is running nearly at fully efficiency now. Woo! And yeah, we're producing a lot of this. Let's see if it increases. Uh, but we, we do have to remember that although these are only doing 10, one of them is actually meant to be working at a lower speed, isn't it? So let's, let's see. So we're getting five. So we want two working at full speed. And then any, any overflow going to the other one. But we can't really do that. That's... We want one third going just down this way. We can potentially do this. Let's see if if we stop this one a minute. Let's see how two holds up. Now that we've we've stopped that going. Are these two going to be getting 20? Yeah. I'm going to change these, the nines, for my... Uh... There we go. Then that should uh, empty them quicker. Yeah, so we're just going to leave two of these running for the moment, because these are running slightly underpowered, but it's enough to run two at full speed. While we can get more mining charges coming down, then we can run it at uh, single speed. But what this also means is we can get rid of this. In fact, I'm just going to delete all of this for the moment, as I'm not using it. And this... can change and be a number of, uh, like just a normal one set because we only need uh oh no i do need that still don't i There we go. Brilliant. These should be working now. 10. Twenty. Let's check how many this one gets. Four, eight, ten, thirteen. 15, 20. Yeah, lovely. They're running slightly over spec, but that's all right because we are being nice and efficient. But we do still need this extra one. So we'll have to look at that in the future. But this episode has already gone on really, really long. So I'm going to end this one here. Um, if you've got any ideas for me, please post them down below because I'll be very interested to hear if you can see I've done anything wrong and why it's running slower than I thought it should be. Uh, you know, I'm not getting five chunks per 12 seconds. I'm getting four at the moment, which is a pain. But uh, hey, it's where we're at. If you've enjoyed watching this, then please give me a thumbs up and... If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel for more of this Tectonica madness. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>